It's a guy, a fish, a cat, a movie, and a podcast. Put that coffee down. I'm not afraid. Oh, you're going to need a bigger potion. Be afraid. <laughs> Be very afraid. Trust me. Hello, and welcome to another guy, a fish, a cat, a movie, and a podcast. I love movies. So today is going to be a long one, so I would recommend grabbing some food, some snacks, a couple beers. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. Why? What are we talking about? You know what we're talking about. No, we're not doing this. Oh, yeah, we are. Damn it. We're talking about that cringeworthy word, sequels. Oh, no. Oh, God. Okay, so before we start this fiasco, please comment, please subscribe, share, like, and all that stuff. Uh, on this channel. If you want to see our animated movie review shows, they are here on YouTube under this channel. So let's get to it. Pat, what are you doing? I'm opening a lot of beer right now. There's no way I'm going through this sober. He's got a good point. He does. So I feel like we should lay down some ground rules for this. There are hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of sequels. Agreed. So what we're going to focus on is our take on the good, the bad, and the ugly. Let's see what we got. This is going to be, a, again, a long episode, so it might actually be broken up in a couple parts. Kitty cat, do you want to go? Cat, do you, do you want to you want to go? Do, do, do. Hey, fish. Yes? I'm drunk. You go first, buddy. On it. What is your good first sequel of any movie? Go. Okay, so we're doing movie sequels first. We're not doing reboots or anything like that, right? Right. Um, these are standalone sequels, okay? I guess. I feel like this is going to get fucked up somewhere along the line. Yeah, most likely. Speaking of fucked up. Oh my god, really? Okay, so a good sequel to me is Aliens. Love it. That was great. James Cameron directed it. It was totally cool. Totally different from the uh, first one. Aliens are scary. They are. They're big, they're slimy, and there's a whole bunch of them in this one. Totally cool. Bill Paxton, God bless him. Sigourney Weaver, uh, Michael Bain. Great movie. Love it. Great movie. A lot of guns. Vasquez. A pile of one-liners. I got signals. I got readings in front and behind. Where, man? I don't see shit. He's right. There's nothing back here. Look, I'm telling you, there's something moving in. It ain't us. They're coming out of the walls. They're coming out of the goddamn walls. What the fuck? Thank you, Bill Paxton. Thank you. So if you get the chance, or if you haven't seen it, or if you've been living on another planet, watch this movie again and again, because it never gets old. It's really good. It's Can real. I go? Sure. Mad Max Fury Road. Definitely. Totally. This movie was so good. Where do I start? I don't know. This one's all you. I will agree this is a fantastic sequel. I love the effects. I love the fact there's only about 12 lines of dialogue. The action is insane. Oh, what a day! What a lovely day! Wow, you know, you're a lot more coherent whenever you have about 20 beers in you and... I know. Crazy. Isn't he a robot? Yeah, he's a robot. Weird. Mad Max Fury Road. I'm not going to argue with... Dude, I'm not going to argue with you on that one. Absolutely not. If you haven't seen it, definitely, definitely watch this one. Hands down. It's a great, great sequel. I don't know if it's a sequel or a reboot. Re Ugh. I don't know if it's a sequel or a reboot. I think it's a sequel. I don't know. I, I look at it as a sequel. Yeah, so do I. A reboot to me is like we're going to redo the original Mad Max, you know, with the wife and the kid, you know, and stuff like that. So I feel like this is a legitimate sequel. They just went Batman and changed the main lead. And again, all he does really in it, and he's great. Ta trust me, I'm not I'm not talking shit. The entire cast is absolutely fantastic. And the fact that they can move the story along with minimal words says a lot. I saw it in the theater with my brother and holy shit. We were just like, all right. Yeah, a great movie. Definitely watch Mad Max Fury Road. Really good pick, Cat. Cat, and we lost him. I'm fine. Just checking the carpet for Lint. Moving on. My favorite standalone sequel is Star Trek II, The Wrath of Khan. Oh, yeah? Yeah. What about all the standard best sequels? Like what? Oh, you know what. Godfather Part Two, Terminator 2, Empire Strikes Back. Yeah, but I figured we wouldn't touch base on those because everybody knows they're freaking awesome. Did you guys know Darth Vader is Luke's dad? What? Get out. I will not. Yeah, so anyway, Star Trek 2. I love this movie. 
cast is awesome. The score is simply amazing. Probably in my top 10 of all time favorite movie scores. It's just a great movie. So overly acted. Con bloodsucker. You're gonna have to do your own dirty work now. Do you hear me? Do you? Kirk. Kirk, you're still alive, my old friend. Still old friend. You've managed to kill just about everyone else, but like a poor marksman, you keep missing the target. Yes. Yes. It's so good. I like how they uh, changed the battle fight scenes, the spaceship scenes. ILM, who did Star Wars, the effects for that, uh, did the effects for this. But I like the fact that the space battle fight scenes were very like battleship. They just went side to side. It wasn't bang, 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 bang. Which is a problem I had with the J.J. Abrams' first Star Trek. We're really emulating Star Wars. And I was like, no, it's supposed to be like the Wrath of Khan, where they just kind of go side by side, and it's strategic, and it's great, and Carter Montalban, and William Shatner, and just everybody kills it. And it has a very young Kirstie Alley. That was cool. I would like to stun her phaser. Wow, that's great. So yeah, like, um, I like Star Trek too, Wrath of Khan. That's probably my good that I can think of right now. I'm sure there's a billion more that I can think of. So are we doing this? Yeah, we're moving on. To the bad. Now, these aren't fatal. These ones aren't the fatal sequels. These are sequels that came out that were kind of meh. Uh, sequels that were mediocre at best. You all know what we're talking about. Um, and these have to have, by the way, if you're watching this or listening to this, which nobody is, so it's fine. And for those of you that are, thank you. We love you. If you are watch- listening to this, these sequels have to have had a theatrical release, not straight to DVD or made for a TV movie. They needed a theatrical release. I totally disagree. I say go for it. Any sequel. I don't care if it was on DVD or TV. Oh boy, this is going to get really bad then, huh? Yeah. So let's get started with the bad sequels of movies. You may want to open up another couple be- Okay, and he already did. I feel like there's going to be a lot of fighting and disagreement on this one. Yeah, most likely. Please don't hit me. We're not going to hit any- Nobody's getting hit. These are movies. Nobody's getting hit. There are opinions. Ow! Why'd you do that? I figured I'd hit first. Yikes, he drew first blood. Oh, nice segue. So my first hit... Uh, so my first hit... My first uh, pick for uh, uh, sequels is Rambo 2. I don't like it. I want... What they want. And every other guy who came over here has spilt his guts and gave everything he had once for our country to love us as much as we love it. That's what I want. First Blood was a great movie. Should have been a standalone movie. Kind of agree, kind of disagree. Rambo 2 was still pretty badass. Yeah, it was, but it was just... I don't, It took away from what I thought was the badassery of the first one. And, um, you know, totally Hollywoodized it and stuff. So, whatever. It was what it was. Again, not fatal, but definitely not my favorite sequel. I'm going with Jaws 3. Oh, no. Don't say anything bad about Jaws 3. Don't you dare. I hated this movie. I did, too. You did not. Did so. Bite me. If you see our animated review show and you've seen our animated review of this movie, you just check that out. We won't waste your time. Follow that link or... Watch that video down there. Nice, shameless self-promotion. Thank you. Or I could just save you the time right now and tell you it sucked. Shut up, Jaws 3 is awesome. You back off. You shut your little mouth. Hey, hey, hey. Can we bring it down a bit? All right. Uh, Aliens 3? Alien 3? Aliens 3? Can't remember. The one uh, directed by David Fincher. I think it's fair to say that our smoothly running facility has suddenly developed a few problems. I can only hope we are able to all pull together over the next few days until the rescue team arrives for Lieutenant Ripley. It's here. You got Clemens. Stop this raving at once. I'm Stop telling it. you. It's here. Just get there and get that foolish woman back to the infirmary. Fuck! Uh, didn't love 
love it, didn't hate it. It was okay. It was good. I thought the alien looked like shit. Yeah, it was kind of there, but I didn't I didn't love it. I kind of left the theater going, ugh. The only thing that saved that movie, in my opinion, is the acting was really, really solid. Very good performances uh, from very talented actors and actresses with a weak script. Totally agree. The French Connection 2? Yeah, that was a weird... A French Connection 2, I really wanted to see what they did with it, and in my opinion, it felt short. Turn around, man. Come on, turn around. Get on the wall. Get on the wall. Turn around. Get on turn around. Hey, you dropped that. Pick Hold it up. Those hands up. Pick it up. Come on, move. What are you looking at? All right, bring it here. Get your hands out of your pockets. What's my name? Doyle. What? Mr. Doyle. Come here. You pick your feet. Do you get over there? Get your hands on your head. Hold them up. We told you people were coming back. We're gonna keep coming back here until you clean this bar up. Keep your eye on your neighbor. He dropped something that belongs to you. What is this, a fucking hospital here? Huh? I didn't think it was nearly a half as good as the first one, obviously. Um, but you know, they had Gene Hackman back in it, so familiar character. And Roy Scheider. Again, not fatal. But not great either. Just one of those. Oh, you know, okay, moving on. I'm gonna say something that's gonna piss you off. What? Don't do it. I'm gonna bring this up. What? I have to. What? It's my opinion, so don't be mad. Oh my god, what? Return of the Jedi. What? Ah, oh boy. I liked it. I It was fine, but it was cool seeing it initially, and then you go back and you kind of question everything about it. I'm sorry. I dug it. It, it was a badass It was a great movie. I'm grabbing another beer. Fantastic, fun movie. Had all the elements of Star Wars, the original trilogy, back when it counted. And it still had a level of suspense and action and heroism, and there was still a fun level to it but I think they kind of try to ampl amplify that a bit much with the Ewoks obviously. Yeah back when Star Wars movies were fun instead of being so dramatic right now. Dude Luke and Vader fought and and Vader killed the Emperor. Give yourself to the dark side. It is the only way you can save your friends. Yes, your thoughts betray you. Your feelings for them are strong, especially for sister. So, you have a twin sister. Your feelings have now betrayed her too. Obi-Wan was wise to hide her from me. Now his failure is complete. If you will not turn to the dark side, then perhaps she will. Ah! Yeah, and Chewbacca also swang on a vine doing the Tarzan yell. Han was saved by four people in the entire galaxy. Yeah, that's one of my points when you look back at it. I mean, this guy was with the Rebellion, for Christ's sakes. Maybe they were on a budget. He saved the princess twice, saved Luke on Hoth, helped blow up the Death Star, and they only sent like four people to save him? I mean, come on! That was all part of Luke's well laid out plan with R2 with a lightsaber and his thing, and you shut up! I'm not saying it's a bad movie. That, hands down, this, the ship battle at the end, pfft, Forget it. I will gladly put that toe to toe with any ship battle still being done today. Oh, hell yeah. That's awesome. And knowing the technology and the work that went into it with all the miniatures, forget it. It's that, that's fucking awesome. And it did wrap it up nicely. So, what's your point? Uh, yeah, you really haven't said anything too negative about this? I don't know. There's still a level of the acting seemed really bad. Well, the acting wasn't that great in it, but Star Wars movies weren't known for their acting. Yeah, but still, I mean, these are solid actors, and it was a good... Anyway, enough about Je uh, Jedi. I liked it. I did. I really did. I'm not saying I hated it. I'm just saying it wasn't, as far as sequels go, wasn't my favorite. And I think you're full of shit. Well, I think you need to shut up. I think you both need to shut up. All right, moving on. Are we done with these? Yes, please, God. Should we move on to the bloody awful? Let's move on to the bloody awful. This one's going to be easy because... I mean, these are just going to be really bad sequels, right? Right. Yeah, but you have really bad taste in movies. I do. I'm actually excited for this category. 
Quick honorable mention for not bad sequels is Die Hard 2. Yeah, we forgot about that one. Yeah, it was good. It just wasn't good. But they redeemed themselves with Die Hard with the Vengeance, which was badass. So let's move on to this. Why don't we take um, a break? Okay, and we will be back with part two of this episode. Just the really, really bad, horrible sequels. Some very funny ones in here, too. So we'll see you next time. We are going to take a break, and we'll see you next time. Please subscribe, like all that fun stuff to this channel, and support us on Patreon, and uh, feel free to watch our animated movie review shows listed on this channel as well. And if you have a really, really, really bad sequel that you want us to talk about or that you want to talk about, even a guilty pleasure one, like his love for Jaws 3, please leave a comment, okay? All right. So we're out. I'll see you guys. Cat. Where the hell did he go? I don't know. We'll see you. Bye. Bye. It's not personal, sir. It's strictly business. Let's kick it. I'll say kick it, and you'll just kick it with a tasty groove, okay? One, two, three, kick it. Kick it. Come on. God damn it. Could you one time kick it? What you just said is one of the most insanely idiotic things I have ever heard. You stay classy.